Welcome to the NADFL channel. I am posing a simple question. Is Tua Tungavailoa good enough to remind us of Dan Marino and or can Tua Tungavailoa be considered the Dolphins' savior at QB? If you are saying to yourself, I don't know, or you have your doubts about Tua Tungavailoa, then the 2021 draft is almost as important as last year's draft. The two most important questions facing the Dolphins' front office for this year's draft are, are we 100% sure on Tua? If not, what do we do about it? Josh Alper at Pro Football Talk posted an article highlighting the fact that all quarterbacks drafted in the first round from 2009 to 2016 will no longer be playing for their original team. The article astutely reminded us all of how hard it is to evaluate and select elite quarterbacks in the NFL. I wholeheartedly agree. I have always been of the philosophy that when it comes to quarterbacks, if you're not sure, ya gotta keep swinging. Okay, okay, I know it's too early to be a Tua doubter and for the record I am not. I, however, am a pragmatist and realize that Tua didn't show me anything that I would deem to be spectacular. Furthermore, I'm always reminded of Bill Parcells when assessing the play of rookies when he said, if they don't bite when they're puppies, they usually won't bite. November 21, 2015 The bottom line is that if I were Chris Greer, I would want to hedge my bets in case Tua turns out to be a bust. Ouch, that hurt to even think it. But, let's face it, it could be true. Now, don't start hating on me, this doesn't mean Tua is going to be a bust nor does it mean I think Tua is going to be a bust. I like Tua. It simply means that I am profoundly aware that many promising first-round quarterbacks don't pan out. As of right now we have no additional picks in 2022 in either the first or second rounds. And more than likely with a whining record we'll be nowhere near being able to draft in the top 10. If we need or want to draft another quarterback in 2022, as of right now, we're screwed. I believe we need to add picks for 2022. What's the worst that can happen? Tua ends up being fantastic and we have extra picks in 2022. Tua ends up being a bust and we use our 2022 draft capital for a new quarterback. If you agree, then the next step is to figure out the best way to parlay this year's draft capital into extra picks next year. In my opinion the best way to acquire extra picks without giving up too much of what we want is to trade back and to trade back multiple times. In my next article, I will discuss possible draft scenarios including the fact that the first receiver taken in a draft is rarely the best. If that's true, does it matter if we get the first or third receiver on our board? Same goes for multiple other positions. Remember the two important questions facing the Dolphins' front office for this year's draft. Are we 100% sure on Tua? If not, what do we do about it?